In June of 2016, Sukiban Games graced the world with a masterpiece, VA-11 Hall A, or Valhalla, a bartending visual novel like no other that told all sorts of stories from a news company CEO, to a hacker, to a cat girl, to this weirdo, to a dog wearing sunglasses. I played through this game in late 2019 and I absolutely adored every second of it. So when I found out about the indirect sequel, a game called Nirvana, with an entirely new cast of characters and different stories to be told, I was obviously excited. And when I looked at the release date, I was very excited. However, if we go to the Steam page for this game, uh, uh, well, I guess something must have gone wrong somewhere. On the 1st of December, 2020, Sukuban released an update on where the game has been, which goes as follows. Many of you might have noticed that Nirvana had a projected release date of 2020, and that we're at the end of 2020 with no announcement of any kind about that. Well, the short of it is as follows. For the time being, we're changing Nirvana's release date to an indefinite one, and we'll start shifting our public push towards other projects. Nirvana's production won't stop or slow down, but it also won't be our main promotional focus for a while. Or for an even shorter version, Nirvana's release date is now WID, brackets, when it's done and we might have other projects to announce in the coming months that will come earlier than Nirvana. Now, I could just leave it at this, but many of you might have questions. Why is this happening? Did the other projects cannibalize Nirvana? Is Nirvana being put on hold even though he just said production won't stop? So, let's talk about that, shall we? Let's start with the most basic one. Why is this happening in the first place? After all, we've shown demos at the events, and talked about how the game is going to be. The first falling of delays falls squarely on my field, when Nirvana started production back in 2017 as the framework for another unrelated project that also needed a lot of text to be processed, it was still Kirarin and I handling things. So we kept working as we did during the Valhalla days. As time went on and a lot of life-changing events happened, I refused to relent the control of the code, even though we now had extra hands programming to help us with everything. The result was that I was heavily burnt out while still insisting on being the sole programmer. The progress was really slow at this stage as a result. How slow, you ask? When I finally relented control of the game to be rebuilt from scratch at the beginning of 2020, a programmer was able to rebuild everything I had done up until that point through explanations in about a month or less. With another month, he was able to add a lot of missing features that I outlined but wasn't able to code in a timely manner. With this, you might be wondering why we didn't make any faster progress. After all, if the framework was ready, you just had to put the stories in it. And the answer to that is creative differences. Thanks to the circumstances I won't go into detail here, there was an internal conflict in how the story should go. Ironing out those problems took time, but the end result is a version of the story far better than anything we'd previously envisioned. As of the time of writing this post, we have a clear idea for what the plot is, and how it should go. And we're taking steps so that we can restart the production in a more formal way, instead of keeping doing things like in the days of Valhalla, where we did things as they came. More control means easier planning of a schedule which will be crucial if we want to accomplish all the big things that we want to do with Nirvana, both in and out of the game. However, you may be wondering, why change the date to WID instead of giving a clear one if you intend to have a tighter schedule? The reason is that due to all of these uprootings of the project, it's effectively been reset on many fronts. There's much to be done before we can have any sort of public estimates. Date announcements or announcements of any kind for that matter probably won't happen until we're at the final stretch of the project. However, rather than go fully radio silent, we intend to use stricter planning to be able to be more transparent during the development, and provide regular updates on the state of the project. It's just the release date that will be undisclosed for a while. A question this may bring to mind is, wait, you mentioned other projects, did those cannibalize Nirvana? Not really. Sukuban Games now consists of at least six people, and we have enough resources to subcontract duties as needed. One of said projects was even started on the side during a period where I wouldn't relent control of the code a period where no progress in Nirvana could be made outside of myself because I was effectively holding it hostage, and people got to keep themselves busy. Even with at least two side projects in parallel, we have enough breathing room where Nirvana won't be compromised by a lack of attention. I'm technically the head writer and planner of this project, and only this project, so during this planning phase no resources are having to be diverted away from Nirvana. When the time comes to move to another stage of development, we can focus our resources accordingly depending on the current state of each project. It's our utmost interest that we don't spread ourselves too thin. And personally in the last few months, I've been learning how to pace myself in order to get back into work habits that aren't dependent on periods of crunch and burnout, but rather steady and consistent work. After all, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and this link needs to pick up its pace. 
This is the part where I apologise on behalf of the team, but especially myself. The Vanus production has been a complex beast full of even more growing pains than Valhalla. I've been on a personal journey of self-improvement during its production, and while I can say me, the team, and the project are in its best shape we've been in in a while, time waits for nobody, and it's now at the end stretch of 2020 with the project at an earlier stage than it should be. This I can promise you though, the next time you hear publicly and loudly of Nirvana, it will be unforgettable, and when the project is done, the wait will be worth it. Until then, and with my most sincere apologies to everyone that's been looking forward to the game, let's make this a trip where everyone can see the road we're taking. As a huge fan of Valhalla, I'm in two minds. Part of me is upset that the game I've been looking forward to for years might still not come out for years, but another part of me is so glad that it's not being rushed out at the cost of its quality. The mix of burnout from Christopher, the person who I'm assuming wrote the post, and creative differences has heavily impacted the speed of the development of the game, but in my honest opinion, it's probably leading to the production of a much, much better game overall. I wasn't really content with this statement, which is about a year and a half old now, so I did a little bit more digging through the development logs, and initially I was a little bit disappointed because most of what I read through was related to their other projects, but I kept looking, and every now and then there are mentions of how Nirvana is coming along. Ever since the post in December of 2020, there has been constant work on the game, from writing dialogue and storylines to actual gameplay development and design choices. Most of the logs only briefly mention how the game is coming along, Things like, I wrote character today, and today was a day of writing. But one thing that stuck out to me was during the June 29th to June 12th update, in which Christopher talks a little bit about how he's been playing with the game's interface, and how some people are disagreeing with the direction of it, to which he replies with something that we should all keep in our minds. I'm not making Valhalla again. It's going to be its own thing, and part of it is looking different. This is followed by him threatening to eat people, which is very understandable given that he's a game developer that's forced to work with code each day. I've given this quote some thought, and initially it worried me that he was going to go off in his closed off passion project mindset again, but then I gave it more thought and I realised that he's completely right. The game isn't meant to be Valhalla 2, fuck, at this point I'm not even confident that it's going to have much in common with the first game at all, and that's okay because it's going to be its own thing. All of the stories are going to be fantastic, and all of the characters are going to have so much personality to them. But most importantly, it's not going to be a new Valhalla, it's going to be Nirvana.